Welcome or welcome back to another video guys. Today we are going to be continuing Red Dead Redemption and I know this is like the second or third straight video in Red Dead Red Dead Redemption. Pretty soon we'll go back over to Beyond Two Souls. That will probably be the next video. Hopefully. Probably you should be able to see it. It should be on premiere by now. Maybe not. We'll see I guess. Uh, let's just hop right into it. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go. Uh, what's her name? Adley. Wait, no, no, not Adley. Uh, oh my god, I literally just played this like a couple days ago. What is her name? Why? I, I need to get my brain checked. Uh, what's this? It will come to me. It will come to me eventually. Adley, Adley so, so. Bro. Let's get. Not cool. You know, I'm pretty sure I just found out, I don't know if it's real, but The Wolf Among Us 2 was supposed to come out this year, but I got like a little update, and apparently it's not coming out until 2024. You have no idea how mad I was when I read that. And I know there's another game for uh, Telltales, but I forget the name. I, I'm, it's supposed to come out also this year, I believe, but who knows, that might get pushed back. Stugs, huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. How far is it? Oh, it's not that far. Okay, sure, why not? Frick was that? Hold on, let me fix something. There we go. That's a little bit better. You don't sign this over. I'm gonna take a long time on you. Just do it. You're gonna do it. You see, we're used to a mite more cooperation than you're offering. It's all They're kill us! Get him! The hell? Hey! Untie me, will you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. My wife. You see my wife by any chance? Yeah, I saw her. West of here. She told me to come find you. Oh. Oh, thank God. But thank you for hearing her call. <laughs> 
We did a good thing, didn't we? Out of the damn, way. damn, John, chill out. He wasn't even in our way. a little too high. Dang, it goes up a lot faster when you get off of it. You're a good girl now. Help a blind man. Here you go. Darn them. Embrace those who love you, not the memory right, of those girl. who pretended to. Well, okay then. Dang, he's good. All right, Nooks. Blackwater. Looks like they're putting some buildings up. Nice. Is there a place I can get a haircut around here? We'll get a haircut first. We'll go down a little bit. That's good. Now let's check out hair. Any good styles? You know, I am going to get rid of his full face, his full beard.
There he is. Over exertion now. Just a break, pal. Don't get funny. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? Which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Well, not like that. Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems. Don't we want to, you know, find out how on. much sure. it's going to be? Come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. You think we would talk about how much it's going to be and stuff before we go and look at it? Skinner Brothers are a group of outcasts that have become one of the most notable gangs around. These men prefer to roam the rings of tall trees. You know what? Let's just hope we don't have to come by them. The Skinners. Oh, I feel like we're going to have to deal with them, aren't we? Oh, God. Great, can't wait. I'm assuming this is their property right now. I hope so. 
Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. There ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision there, partner. <laughs> He kind of deserved to get shot. He completely missed. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now, we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I oh boy, you Uncle. Dead, boy, dead. Uncle, the very same. Oh my Come God. Here. I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, <laughs> for real. Well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's just... Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> our place you know speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting it makes you seem stupid I don't care how I see well, now where west are we headed you damn grunting fool this ranch I a ranch I bought just now is that what you were doing in the bank spending all your money oh I 
on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? <laughs> yeah, pretty oh, much. I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Easy. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. Fair enough. So, you think I'm an idiot? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. I know you're an idiot. Got that beard grown back. Working hard. <coughs> It's the lumbago. I have I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, 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 I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and oh, I got, I got a little drunk. And, oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Last time we saw Charles was when he went with uh, Rainfalls, I believe, right? With him and his tribe. Let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I'm never like this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <clears throat> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Nah, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Be 
Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. my horse. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I guess we're not that far. You so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. Folks did have a surprise. <laughs> not one of life's great <laughs> mysteries, <laughs> turns out. <laughs> and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And... You like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm and a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendants of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage on my left. A ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Just yet. Ooh. 
He's going to town on him. Good job, Charles. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we. So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now. My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Well, I'll just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh. My bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him, or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. Hello? What? what do you mean? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Uh -huh. Oh boy. You go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> you couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight. Evidently! So far, the further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Well, <laughs> denied it, at least. I guess she no, should have moved. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. 
If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Sadie, that's her name. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that. Oh my gosh. Since uncle is right here, we'll do him his Michigan mission first. Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> you good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Good horses. <laughs> Almost there. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat> well, that was quick enough. All right. That was a nice little simple mission. Me again.
Idiots. All I wanted to do was go to the town. But no, let's try to attack them. Did they say those were the Skinners? If that was them, then they ain't there. They're nothing. <laughs> Even though they almost killed me. work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Get out of the way. Ain't easy. All right, oh. What the hell's the matter with you? Uh, is that new horse? Some both by ranches, some by horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. 
need some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or trocked down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I I ain't so good with people. That is true. Day. He sucks Whatever with people. Want. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. We better get some good money for this. It better be really good. Outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Whoa. Come on. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Well, uh, come on. Let's go follow them. You're a good filly. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go.
They'll be coming through here. Stop up ahead. We can get a better look at him. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? Right <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Yeah, sneaking's probably best. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We are doing this together. This way. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Probably get my knife out, I guess.
Get down, bro. God. Buddha, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You got a broken eye? That was clean. Okay, let's move. Up ahead, another one on patrol. I got this guy. Taken care of. They're gonna hear us on these bridges, but it's worth a try. No matter what, they're gonna hear us.
trying to regenerate a little bit. What's it look like? Get him up there! Come on! We're going for a ride. Uh. Now let's get out of here! Come on! We didn't even have to kill the last one. Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then... You killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the <laughs> victim here. All kidnapped Damn three you. times. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. Pound and work ain't easy, John. No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. 
Let's uh, put him in the cell. I hate you. Just put him on the bed. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good. Because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. 
If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey! We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Tell me that again. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. So like I said, Nils is a, an acquired taste. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. He loves saying okay. Like That's I for said, sure. an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then. Oh, he's an interesting Features guy. Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs. Oh! 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 I knew something was gonna happen.
Well, that was easy enough. All right. You alive? For now. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Got the Mr. Milton. Mr. Smith. Mr. Over there. Come on. Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. F oh. All right. Shit. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. Well, we tried. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner? Everyone knows. <laughs> Except me! Later, John. Carrying him? I got it. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, my Lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. <sighs> To beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this 
This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. And that was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! 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 I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. You pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Does plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm sure, sure, use sure what uncle. what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Mm. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. I like that we actually get to do a little bit of building. I like how Uncle is just sitting there.
Okay. Nice. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, now nail it. Well, we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. Our main thing is put my camera in. That's the main thing we get to actually do. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Pretty good. Nice house. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? That is going to be it for this episode. Let's see. Let's check out the progress real quick. We're 90% done now. We'll go to save real quick just in case. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my post notifications. I think we are getting really, really close to Dead Red Dead Redemption 2 from being over. And then we'll move on to the next game. So far, this game has been incredible. I loved everything about it so far. Except, you know, when I died a lot. But we won't we won't talk about that. But yeah, like I said, subscribe to my post notifications. So you know when I post the next Dead... Oh my god, I keep saying wanting to say Dead Rising for some reason. Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.